When my boys were young, we used to play board games all the time. Who can relate? We must have clocked hundreds of hours on Battleship alone. Hi, I'm registered dietitian Liz Weiss, and family game night is something I cherish. It's super fun. It brings everyone together. And as a mom, I love to serve something special and of course nourishing whenever we break out those boards. Now, since playing games is a great way to exercise your brain, I thought I would assemble a snack board to help feed your brain. My snack board, my game night snack board, is filled with foods from the MIND diet. Now, MIND stands for Mediterranean Dash Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. And it includes minimally processed foods, things like leafy green vegetables and berries and seafood, which all contain nutrients that help to promote lifelong brain health. In fact, when people follow the MIND diet, it helps to reduce their risk for developing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Now, there are nine food groups in the MIND diet, including red wine, but we're gonna save that for later because today I wanna show you how to create a MIND diet snack board for the next time you gather together with your kids or your grandkids for a game night. So let's go ahead and get started with leafy green vegetables, things like spinach and kale and collard greens. Now these leafy green vegetables contain nutrients like magnesium, lutein, and zeaxanthin, which are all important for brain health. And you wanna aim to have one serving of those green leafy vegetables every single day. For our snack board, I set out a spinach and Greek yogurt dip. Because after all, what would a snack board be without several dips? Now coming in at number two are other colorful vegetables. And the sky is really the limit here. When it comes to vegetables, you can, on your snack board, set out cucumbers and celery and carrots and bell peppers, even radishes. They're crunchy, they're beautiful. They are perfect on a mind diet snack board. As far as how many to eat, you wanna aim for at least one other vegetable every single day. Coming in at number three on the mind diet snack board, is berries. I don't know any child out there or any adult who doesn't love berries. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, they contain nutrients like anthocyanins. Sounds fancy, but it's basically the pigment that gives berries their beautiful, vibrant color. For my snack board, I set out strawberries. Now, if you wanna get really fancy, you can dip them in melted dark chocolate. Have something fun, a little bit of a treat on that board. All right, since we are all exercising our brains today, I thought I'd ask you a pop quiz. On average, how many seeds are there on a strawberry? The answer, 200. Can you believe it? Raise your hand if you're like me and you love nuts. Walnuts, almonds, pistachios, pecans. Nuts contain healthy fats as well as vitamin E, which has been shown to reduce the risk of dangerous inflammation in the brain. And that's why nuts are part of the MIND diet. You wanna aim for eating five servings a week. And that's a handful, a serving is a handful. On my board, I set out a bowl of mixed nuts. Also on the MIND diet, beans. Beans are versatile, they're inexpensive. They also contain vitamin E. Now, how do you get beans onto your snack board? Well, since hummus is made from chickpeas, I have included hummus on our snack board. As far as how much to eat each week, aim for four servings. Three servings of whole grains every day is also part of the MIND diet. Oats and quinoa, brown rice, forbidden rice, farro, these are all whole grains and they're rich in fiber and vitamin E, which help to protect our brains from aging. As far as our MIND diet snack board is concerned, well, I have filled it with whole grain crackers. You know, when you're shopping for crackers at the market, read labels and look for the words whole grain as the first ingredient in your crackers. Another important food group on the MIND diet is fish and seafood. It's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which is part of every cell membrane in your brain. You wanna aim for eating at least one serving of fish and seafood every week. For the MIND diet snack board, I created these cute kebabs with shrimp and cherry tomatoes. For convenience, you can buy shrimp already made for you at the supermarket. I happen to use frozen shrimp, frozen cooked shrimp. How convenient is that? 
Lean poultry is also part of the MIND diet, chicken and turkey. They contain vitamin B3, and it turns out that eating three to five ounces per week helps to protect against Alzheimer's disease. On the MIND diet snack board, I have made a chicken salad with leftover rotisserie chicken, some light mayonnaise and some plain Greek yogurt, and then I added crunch with some diced apples and celery and walnuts. And this will be perfect on those whole grain crackers. And finally, coming in at number nine is extra virgin olive oil. Use it as your everyday oil. Olive oil contains compounds that help to protect our brains. So how do we include it on the board? Well, you can drizzle some olive oil on your hummus or do what I did and set out a bowl of green and black olives, my favorite. This board is brimming with flavor, crunch, and a rainbow of colors. And it's good for brain health. So serve it at your next family game night. I can't guarantee you'll win every game, but it may just give you that little extra edge you need to beat your kids or your grandkids at Battleship. I'm registered dietitian Liz Weiss with Liz's Healthy Table. For more mind diet inspiration, head to my website or hop on over to neuroreserve.com.